Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to answer a question, and question is how to configure SSIS to store uh, packages in MSDB. Well, first of all, that uh, you need to have uh, SSIS installed, up and running, and you need to know the instance uh, uh, of SQL Server uh, SSIS uh, instance uh, in order to deploy your SSIS package. Once you create SSIS package, you can deploy it from Visual Studio, and for that, you need to have that uh, SQL Server uh, Integration Services instance um, and you need to have proper permission to do that. But I'm gonna show you in a second uh, using Management Studio where MS, uh, where the uh, the packages are stored. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you quickly. Uh, right here is my uh, server and I have uh, integration services installed here. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect with my integration services. Make sure that you, when you run uh, a SQL Server Management Studio, you run as administrator. Otherwise you won't be able to, especially for uh, uh, operating system um, uh, 2008 R2 uh, and uh, to 2012 you need to run as administrator uh, otherwise you won't be able to connect to integration services and it'll give you error access denied so I have done that so go ahead uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on uh, uh, connect as you can see that uh, I'm connected to uh, SSIS instance up here you will see the running packages um, and so far I don't have any package so stored packages up here if you expand this you will get two options one is file system and other is MSDB now MSDB if you deploy it directly to this Dynamics AX um, when you expand it uh, your packages are going to appear right here but it's best practice that you go to MSDB you right click and create a new, new folder and have your packages up there and especially in production you should make a habit of that but if not then you can go ahead and uh, if somewhere uh, you have all the packages stored and you wanted to bring to MSDB you can click on import packages and bring all those uh, SSIS packages back to MSDB but um, this is how you configure a new folder in MSDB you uh, uh, click on new folder you my broad SSIS PKG packages I'm just giving name uh, you should follow your uh, naming convention uh, of your uh, production server so I'm gonna click OK and I'm gonna go ahead and refresh it as you can see right here uh, this this is where uh, you will you will connect to Dynamics uh, AX and then you will provide this path uh, on Visual Studio and then uh, deploy your SSIS and after you click on deploy successfully then you will be able to see all your packages under this folder and I hope it helps. 